do it. Ready or not, I think we are officially live. I know. It's so exciting. My heart's kind of pumping a little bit here. I know, um, I know. I don't even know if anybody's watching yet. Oh, yeah, we got one person that commented, but. Oh, yeah? So, uh, so yeah, look at this little cool trick. Can we Hi, Brooke. see? Oh. Hi, Brooke. Thanks for tuning in. Nice. Oh, Brooke. I, I think I, I did her. Know, Brooke. Yeah, I did her cards the other day. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle's like, thanks for putting me on the spot. I <laughs> yeah, I'm not sorry. <laughs> Say hi, Brooke. Actually, I've been calling her uh, Sailor the whole time. That's not her name. <laughs> anyway, cool. Yeah. Cool story. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, what I said before was um, I just was thinking about how wild it is to be talking to you face to face. Like you said, yeah. you know, we, I totally forgot. You brought up the uh, St. Francis. I totally forgot that we went to St. Francis together, too. Second grade. Was that like second grade? Second grade, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Our, that yeah, is crazy. Yeah, yeah. It was that is crazy. Time. What was our teacher's name? Mrs. You Bunker. Man, you were like a steel trap. I know. I, I can't tell you what I did yesterday, but I can tell you what she what her name was, what she looks like. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was cut. Yeah. That's cool. But yeah, no, and then what I really remembered was your grandma uh living up the street. Yeah. And um and and anytime that you were up there, like sometimes you would like I feel like you would just come to kind of the top of the hill, you know, and just kind of yell down at us. And, yes. um, and my good friend, I don't know if she'll be watching this, but my good friend, Jamie, that lived next door to me, she was like my best friend growing up. Mm -hmm. She didn't like you then oh. <laughs> because, you, cause I would go, and, I would go and play with you and like, leave her like, hi, like, you know, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to go play with Fallon. She'd be like, oh, she'd get all mad about it. <laughs> Jamie, who? Jamie, who? She's, uh, she's Jamie right now. Yeah. Who? Oh yeah. She'd probably love you now but yeah. oh yeah I, sorry, you were just you, you were just feeling her best friend at five years old so you know she wasn't you know, down with played together though jamie you know i know i know <laughs> so anyway, I, I, was, I was kind of reminiscing about that so yeah but uh yeah. but michelle i don't know i don't know you did you are you from lebanon How, where are you from me yeah. uh no, south lebanon south lebanon so, yeah okay. so you were yeah. kings then probably right. yeah kings real fun Okay. I did go to the career center, uh, junior or senior year. That's how okay. I met her. Yeah, actually. That's what I was wondering. I was like, how'd you guys even meet then? Career center in Walmart. <laughs> the old Walmart parking lot. Yeah, I, I got a job at Walmart when I was a teenager, and she just seemed to hang out there and never leave. Nice. Mom. Yeah, there's a nice. doll. I don't even hear it. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, we've been friends since I was 15. Wow. Well, you know, yeah. No, we're only like 29 wow. now, so he knows better. Oh, sure. Yeah, actually, it's not that long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, that's cool. That is awesome to have a friend that long. That's, yeah. Uh, um, we were talking about that uh, with my group of friends and just how rare it is that we all still kind of stay in touch as much as we do. And I love um, that. Cool. You get to see how everyone's <clears throat> growing up and like their family and, you know, dogs and yeah. everything. I just, I, I just love it. Yeah, I mean, different, cool. but still love each other. Yeah, yeah. And then, what, like, so you went to the career center um, through high school. Did I don't remember having any high school classes with you? Did we have any high school? Yeah, I went to the career center. Uh, I know, but what about freshman and sophomore year? I don't remember. Yeah, I was at the high school. We must have just not had any classes together then, because or unless, of course, I'm my my memory is. <laughs> I mean, likewise, yeah. Oh, I'll have what? to check the yearbook and see if uh, you're in there anywhere next. Twenty week. years ago, yeah, over, yeah. over twenty, yeah. Well, because that's wow. what I was thinking. Is I remember, I remember we had a lot of classes together, eighth grade. Like that was like a big year. Yeah, yeah. We, we were like in the same wing, uh -huh. the same block of teachers, and I feel like I had almost every class with you. Probably, uh, yeah. It seemed like a lot. So I remember that year was like we always sat up next to each other and stuff. So Keeped around. Yeah. Love so, it. well, awesome. Um, thank you guys for uh, agreeing to do this on a Friday night. Of course. Yeah. What better time to do it than on a Friday night? <laughs> yeah. I guess score. Friday the 13th. <clears throat> um, so, uh, I even have some show notes, which Ooh. I never have done notes before. So, congratulations. I wanted to take this kind of seriously. So, yeah. Usually Jeff just sits across the in the other really? chair there and we hit really? play. Oh, you know what? I mean, I told him we were doing it, but I didn't actually send him a link. <laughs> Maybe I could do that. 
go ahead. Here, let me do that real quick. Yeah. See, this is um, this is the other thing that I like about this process mm -hmm. is um, this is kind of amateur hour. <laughs> so anybody that's watching thought that they were tuning into <laughs> that uh, <laughs> was going to be high production quality. I so think this looks great. Oh, it's better. Be, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is way better than our setup. <laughs> We've also never we went have, live, though. Yeah, we, we have, we have all this stuff. We just have to hook it up. Nothing's plugged in. Yeah. Nothing works. Yeah. My kids got yeah, a whole it, area. <clears throat> it, took a, it took a while to... Um, I think the startup was probably the hardest part of all this. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I want to copy here. Okay, copy link. See, look at me talking out loud so I can... Do you want me I to see it, Tom? Focus. <clears throat> um, I was going to text it to him. Okay. And then just say, you know, if he joins in, he joins in. Yeah. If Come he on, doesn't, Jeff. he doesn't. Come on, All right. Almost there. Sent. Okay. All right. Um, all right. I'll look. I'm ready. My wifey. My wifey's right. up there. Up there. Oh yeah, she said cords for days. Yeah. <laughs> if you look, if you could see behind the camera, mm -hmm. it is a hot mess jungle back there. After so. this is over, I'll take a picture of our view <laughs> and yeah. we can compare. And I'll be like, <laughs> oh, okay, mine's not that bad. <laughs> well, I have I have a string of Christmas lights behind the uh, uh, laptop just so you can get more light because we're like we're in the basement, so it's dark out. Oh uh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Over there is a mess. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I've got uh, two panel lights. I've got like my normal basement lighting. And uh -huh. then Candace found me some uh, panel lights like on Amazon. They weren't that oh, expensive. Yeah. Right. So, um, all right. So I think Candace is the only one. Do you guys, uh, what's up, Brad? Do you guys know Brad? Hey, Brad. Brad. Be Brad. That's our buddy. That's our good, good buddy. Now we're, we're close. J-A-K-O-B-S. I'm J-A-C-O-B-S. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Okay. And then you guys know Chris? I Chris, do. Yeah. What's up, Chris? All right. This is so cool. So <clears throat> you're uh, all the people you know are <laughs> and my wife. So, all right. We'll probably get more throughout it. If not, I'm, I'm sure there will, you know, probably yeah, get true. up there and watch it. Well, like I said, when I when I sent out the the kind of the idea, like, hey, what if we did this live? Uh, when I sent that to you, I was like, you know what? We might get like three people that show up. And I was <laughs> I was okay with that. Like, whatever. We'll yeah. see what happens. Yeah. Um, this whole journey of this podcast. Um, so this is this is officially episode number six for me. So um the uh the, the whole process has just been is i I'm learning, you know, as I go. Oh yeah. That's one thing about doing this with you is just so you know, I literally have no idea what I'm doing. So <laughs> like I'm just yeah. flying by the seat of my pants here a little bit. So and uh and I hope that uh some people find some value in it. They and so will. far, so far I think they have. Like I've been getting good feedback from the other episodes and stuff. So Yeah, and they definitely um, get through your backlog. Oh like yeah. once you start gaining traction. Yeah. yeah. We were really slow starting out, but after a while, I mean we just started cranking out episodes and it the flow was so much easier. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah I've kind just, of noticed that. We I've noticed that with, so we're, we're going to start back up soon. I got gotcha. you. So yeah, I've noticed that with the flow, like you said, it's it's something that um, you know, the very first episode when when I hit play, uh, I didn't tell. Jeff, yeah, it was so weird. Like I didn't tell Jeff that we started recording because I didn't want to try. I was trying not to like make it awkward. Right. And then uh, and then all of a sudden I was like, oh, well, we're recording by the way, and he was like. <laughs> Like yeah, his our, whole demeanor just completely changed. Our <laughs> very first episode is so awkward. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, it was super awkward. Like, we were almost shy to, you know, to really do it. But yeah, I think after like the first few, it just started. Just yeah. Completely. How many episodes have you done? Uh, like over, yeah, probably like something. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. Yeah. I, I heard, um, I, heard it or read it i can't remember um that the percentage you know there's like over two million or something podcasts out there oh, yeah 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 mm -hmm. and uh but the percentage of of active podcasts like starts to decrease by the number of episodes mm -hmm. just the in the first like three episodes like if you get to episode four mm -hmm. you're already in the top like 20 percent of, oh, wow. of podcasts. and then <laughs> yeah. if you get to episode 13 
you're automatically in the top five percent of podcasts. Oh so, wow, big time. Big but time. you're up there. You guys yeah. are you guys are official. You're up there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let, wait, let, wait to start back up. All right. Yeah. We got uh my dad's my dad's up in here. What's up, dad? We got uh you guys got Hi Rob. Bob. I do. All right. Yeah. All right. Actually. Chris, the uh the WWE video, or if you're talking about <laughs> on the channel, that was with my son Riker. So <laughs> he, uh, is nine. So I hope you enjoy uh <laughs> our expert analyst of, of that. So that was That's fun funny. that one. So yeah, I did I did two episodes. I did one each of with my kids just for practice. And, oh, and yeah. then they were like, as soon as I started it, they were like, hey. Can we be on your show? And I'm like, all right, sure. So I just came down Perfect. here and recording. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was fun. Um, what's your what's your podcast about? Well, this is where we're gonna try to not say bad words. <laughs> it is uh, <laughs> it's it's true crime. It's true crime related. Uh it's called Wicked and Witchy. We do a mix of like some really, really deep dives into some of the world's worst cases of murder or any yeah. kind of like you know wicked crime like that and then we do kind of like witchy stuff you know talk about curses and spells and ghosts and all that stuff and okay yeah we like yeah. like the witchy stuff is that is that like um do you, like legends and folklore type stuff like what do you mean yeah, all of it all of it yeah. okay. anything yeah. weird anything weird spooky you know all of that or we talk movie. we do talk movies too movies, yeah yeah okay that's yeah. cool um so yeah, so I was thinking about what even when I first started the channel, there were some things that I was kicking around with with Candace when when I had the idea to start the channel. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, there's just people that I think it'd be cool to talk to because I just don't, you know, and I started naming off things. And I was like, and you know, like horror films, like I don't understand why people like horror films so much. And I'm like, like Fallon, like I see Fallon posting stuff all the time. Like she's like into this. She goes to these like conference things. I see her posting pictures and getting all excited about this stuff. And oh, I was yeah. talking, I'm like, I just, I don't get it. Like, it'd be really cool to talk to someone like Fallon and just try to understand like, what's this all about? And uh, you were one of the people in the beginning that like, that just like came to me to, to, to reach out to. Well, that's and, awesome, buddy. Thank you. It. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's what this is all about. Everybody that's, that's watching. That's kind of how it came to be. Um, yeah. So I guess. My first question is, is what makes a good horror film? Ooh. Hold on now. A lot of money for one. You're you're gonna need money. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna need a lot of money. Are you, well, you're talking to making. Uh, as as what as I'm watching, what I mean is like what are the what are the elements that make a good horror film? Like when I you look at it and you say, Oh, this is this is really good. You have a good way to explain that. I I mean what makes a good i mean obviously the easiest answer is what makes it good is if you get scared right but i mean the older you get the less scared you become of things i mean i remember being a child and they all scared me everything scared right me. right right so now as an adult i mean what would scare me is i simplicity for me something yeah. that could be real something that where you play off of people's fears of just ideas that actually could happen in the real world yeah like that's that can be terrifying okay okay I think so it, that's go ahead oh i was just i think it's important too like if you're when you're watching horror you know it's not just like suspense it's someone's trying to um entire like uh terrify you you know to the center of your soul like that's that's the point is people really want to get in there and see what it takes to you know, really scare you, but I would say a very vivid imagination because she was talking about this earlier. You can do whatever with anything as long as you can think about it. Just you know, I was right. still my talking point. Okay. But anyway, uh, so, yeah. but that's the ultimate goal. Then, if you're if you're wanting to create a, a horror film, the ultimate goal is: will this scare someone? Right, or yeah. will it make them think? Like. You know, because there are quite a few horror movies that really aren't scary, but man, man. Like, so, what do you mean? I mean the other thing is, like, there's like, like, think about what? Yeah. yeah. So I was thinking, <laughs> there, there's a movie called Poughkeepsie Tapes. Is that what? Is that what you were thinking? Oh, I don't know what you're thinking. Poughkeepsie at all. Tapes. Yeah, yeah it's not. It's a 
you wouldn't like it, Joel. I do not recommend you ever watching it. Just take my word for it. It's no, crazy. You don't worry about that. Any, any, yeah, yeah. Any, 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 probably an automatic no. So. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> but something like that. Someone took an idea and just stretched it and picked it apart and just was able to weave this terror and, I mean, real life stuff in it. Yeah. It, it, it feels so real. And I think that for me mm. is what I love. I love being scared. And then yeah. no one is going to go away later. You know what I mean? Like, okay. yeah. Yeah. Cause that, that's kind of what that was. Um, I didn't know if I wanted to jump to that right away, but that was one yeah. of the other things I was thinking about too, is how do you separate then reality from like real and fake? Like, how do you, how do you keep that separate? Oh, I mean, I can only speak for myself here, but <laughs> I, I nerd out with all movies. I, I, yeah, I'm a movie buff with all this stuff. So yeah. I mean, I'll watch a movie, but then I'll also watch behind the scenes and mm. um, just like the commentary right. and all that. I, I get into all of that because the other thing that fascinates me is just special effects and how do you make it look so yeah realistic or anything like that. So I will nerd out and follow every other little video that I can find, and it kind of like it kind of detaches me from the movie at that point. Cause then okay. you're behind the scenes, how it's made and I agree. It's yeah. fake. Gotcha. So it, yeah. it sounds like it's kind of, it's kind of appreciating maybe the, the art of it. Oh, for is sure. That, yeah. yeah. Is that a way to describe it? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cause I mean, I mean, a movie is kind of a form of art, right? Wouldn't you? Oh, totally. for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So it's yeah. like, if you can make, if you can get yourself to see the artistic part of it, then that helps you not, internalize so much of the the realness of it absolutely yeah okay. yeah and just being able to appreciate i know this is going to sound really weird and off but like we were trying to see if we could make our own special effect of someone <laughs> you know doing that yeah. and we looked it up and uh it turns out all you need is like a garden sprayer and like some fake blood and we were out front of my house. We had some friends over daytime neighbors driving by and we tried it out and man, it was incredible. But like, <laughs> it was, it was awesome. Joel. Like, yeah. I, have, I actually have a video of it. I'll send it to you after this is done, but yeah, uh, just that right there. Like, Did anybody know, freak out? Know. Like any neighbors? Like they know <laughs> they we're all around 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 around. Yeah. doing weird stuff. So it's, they just drive by and wave and you know, maybe well, they're smiling. Like, what are you guys doing? Yeah. Oh, that's just Fallon and her friends. Yeah. Doing her thing that they usually do. Oh yeah. Always, always out front doing something. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Just learning about you know deeper parts of it, like how do you make this look like this, and how did you make that creature? And you know, yeah. she's really big into creatures and monsters, and I can definitely appreciate that for sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, just kind of picking it apart and making it less. What's the word I'm looking for? intrusive so like you can go to bed afterwards like you know you can put the movie down and you can be a be a mom and do mom things and not have it sitting you know in the back most of the time most of the time yeah there's i mean now. there's i mean there might be a movie you watch where it's like i can't stop i can't get it on my head i'm scared wow and you just kind of you just i don't i mean you eventually get over it but it's yeah. some of them do stick with you oh yeah mm. no yeah. different than any other type any other genre movie i mean yeah. same with someone that watches a comedy and they'll they'll have that movie they love where they will just walk around and like repeat the line and, yeah. yeah yeah horror nerds do that too <laughs> you know <laughs> <laughs> like you just like movie lines from your favorite horror movies and oh, to oh, other yeah. horror movie nerds i guess oh yeah, you know, oh, the yeah. reference yeah so i was thinking back to I was trying to remember what my first experience with a horror movie was. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure now I don't even know if this counts as a horror film um, because all oh, the other thing, see that my squirrel brain's going here. It's okay. So I asked you about what a good horror film is. And then I saw somebody, I think it was on your post mention a specific genre. Like they, they called it a genre. So like, yeah. are there different like subcategories oh. of horror films? <laughs> so many <laughs> endless endless that really and the other thing too is like i think horror has the most subgenres ever of any kind of you can movie. do anything so can you create your own genre 
Yeah. Uh, if it hasn't already been created, sure. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, or spin off. Yeah. Because, I mean, there's like, there's horror comedies, there's um, home I'm invasions, there's zombies, there's yeah. uh, aliens. Oh my gosh. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's everything. Haunted Woods. Yeah. Paranormal. Yeah. Like, yeah. There, if, now, that stuff will actually scare me to death, Joel. Like, I do not like Which watching one? alien stuff, but I will. Really? Oh, what, man. Is that, what is it about aliens? She thinks she's going to be taken. <laughs> is it, so is it because you, you like, there's a belief that aliens are real? Like, do you think there's yeah, a no, chance? Oh, man. Shut up. I don't know if they are, but if they are, I am, like, I don't want any problems. Out, I don't aliens. want to with you. I don't want you to investigate my body. Like, just leave me alone. Let me sleep. I don't want any part of it at all, but I will watch it. But like, oh my gosh, the movie, it's called the fourth kind. Uh, my, if my friend Megan's going to be watching, I, I watch it in the daytime. That's it. It's daytime. like the only thing that really scares me is the fourth kind, any kind of alien stuff. Wow. Everything else. So I can just watch it, you know, like going to bed and not a big deal. Does, um, is M night Shyamalan? Shyamalan. Yeah. Is he, does that count? Is he a horror filmmaker? Does he count oh, as a, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. He's the king of uh, plot twists. Okay. Yeah. So, cause I remember, um, okay. All right. So that's an interesting, okay. I think something's coming together here for me on horror films then in, in terms of what qualifies as that. Okay. So it's more about the response with the movie on if it's a horror flick or not, like, like what it's doing in you, like if it's bringing out, if it's if there's tension and, and right. being scared and that's a horror film. Right. Am I kind of describing that the right way then? Like, because I think when I think of a horror film, I always think of gore and all. Like, it doesn't necessarily have to have gore, though. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> I, mean, I, so I love well, movies, oh, yeah. but they don't scare me because it's just over the top. Okay. Uh, but yeah. yeah, the the ones that just build the tension. I mean, those. Yeah. In my opinion, those are the scary ones to me. Okay. Because that's so, simplicity, and it's uh, it's. It feels real. So when, because when you mentioned aliens, I thought of signs. I love signs. That and part. I where remember that one. Party. He's got the video camera. Man. Okay. That's door. a horror. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, okay. absolutely. I don't absolutely. remember. So would that be like okay? Thinking back to Blockbuster. Oh, R.I.P. <laughs> signs. You'd have to go to the horror like flick shelf to find yep. sign because uh -huh. i don't remember that but oh yeah i used right. to go to the movie gallery so yeah oh so movie gallery yeah that was, that yeah. was a spot right there yeah it was yeah. that was a good one blast from the past all, all right. right well dad i think my dad nailed it because it was his fault <laughs> gremlins <laughs> gremlins, I, gremlins I is the first that's film so that i remember i mean technically it is does it I call it a Christmas movie, but it's technically and a, it's a horror movie. Is that your first horror movie experience? Charles? That's, that's what I remember being my first horror experience. Okay. Was Gremlins. And I don't even know if it was. <clears throat> let's see. Because Gremlins, I think, came out in 80, 84. The year I was born. I think it was 84. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't even know that we actually even. It might have just been on TV. I don't even know if it was actually. I can't remember what it was on. But I remember my dad let me watch it. My mom was not happy with him. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yay, because, dad. Because <laughs> yeah. it was uh I think it was actually technically PG thirteen back then. It, now that yeah. I think about it. Yeah, the, that was a different time. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, very different, different in the eighties. Uh yeah, I couldn't I couldn't walk past the microwave um like at and, and like when the kitchen light was off. Uh -huh. Because of the microwave scene where he he get one of them gets shoved in the micro microwave and then they turn on the microwave and he like you know the gremlin yeah. blows yeah. in the microwave <laughs> um, and then yeah I always I never wanted to like you said to um, the things that stick with you I mean this yeah. still sticks to, with me today I still remember this I uh -huh. wouldn't let my my arms or anything like go over the side of the bed after the lights were off because I thought gremlins would be like behind my bed and would like snatch my arm. I still, I still, yeah. 
feet under the covers, mm -hmm. no toes out. Yeah, still, I'm 40 and I'm I'm still like, yeah. you know, uh-uh. Yeah, interesting. Um, I mean, that <laughs> way too right. so Gremlins, Gremlins kind of counts. Kind of counts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then I think Friday the 13th was probably the other really early one. Yeah. Um, I think I watched that. I want to say... Oh, do you remember... Um, he he went to St. Francis. Michael Pennington, I think was his name. Michael Pennington. Uh, I don't. He may not have been in second grade with us. I can't remember. But I was at his house, I think, uh -huh. uh, and and watched Friday the Thirteenth. I was pretty young too. It would. Um, I don't remember which Friday the Thirteenth it was though, because I think at that point there had already been maybe. There been two. quite a few. <laughs> yeah, elite five or six, I yeah. think. Yeah, like first one was 1980. I do believe. Yeah. I think was when Corey Feldman. We're probably know. gonna get slammed on that later, but uh it doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll just I don't know years, I just know I like them. Oh yeah. Her favorite one's part six. <laughs> oh, the Friday the thirteenth were the ones. Part six. Look it's, how serious she's being. Like she takes that hard. It's my serious. it's not my favorite. It's just the best one. Here we go. Mm -hmm. It's the best one. Out of all of them. So it's not your favorite. You say that again. You said it's not your favorite, but it's the best I mean, one. You know, it's my favorite, it but I'm taking it even farther. It's just the best one. Like it. Okay. I if I mean, <laughs> it's just the best one. I don't know. It, the world should agree. I don't know if they do or not, but it's a it's a good one. It's a good one. I don't. I like the one before that though. That's fine. All totally right. fine. You'd be wrong. Yeah, I think that's the only Friday the Thirteenth one I've seen though. So I have no other comparison. <laughs> I might have watched the first one after the second one. Yeah, maybe. No, um, I've never seen Scream. That's a pretty. I remember Scream. Yeah. Movie. Okay, that's that's definitely a horror movie. My okay. my girls love it. They love Scream. And Anna really, Bell. yeah. Mm. Okay, yeah. yeah I remember really Scream because Scream came out when we were like in junior high, I think. Right. It was like six nine ninety six. Ninety six. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been yeah. would have been sixth grade. Yeah, I think. So. <clears throat> Yeah, I remember that one. Um, was that PG thirteen too, or was that rated R? No, that no, no, no. Yeah, that'd be rated R. I don't remember how I watched it then. I bet I watched it with Jeff. See, that's the thing. If Jeff was here, I could blame him for a lot of the things that I have seen. <laughs> well, it was really easy to go to the Lebanon theater. Oh, and see whatever you want. Yeah, they didn't. Oh yeah, they just let you in. They just let you yeah. In. Well, <laughs> Jason Jeff, Jeff was allowed to. <laughs> To rent like whatever movie he wanted uh -huh. like I don't I, like we he would go and rent movies and then we'd go watch at his house but i don't think his i don't remember like his parents really paying attention or maybe he just lied to him i don't know <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember but i feel like i was always with him when i watched movies like that yeah 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 my mom joel oh my gosh i think i was like four maybe when she i mean all all of my love for all this stuff came from her you know okay. she, she just it was always like unsolved mysteries. My favorite horror movies, Pumpkinhead. She was one that like, hey, you know, here's Friday the Thirteenth. Here's all about Jason, and you know, she kind of got me into that, and I just yeah. <laughs> took her yeah. off with it. Point. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering about that too. Like, if you guys remember what your first movie was, Pumpkinhead. Mm. Pumpkinhead. Pumpkin. I feel like I remember seeing the cover of that. Like in the movie yeah. store, but never, like being like, oh, I'm staying away from that. You you mm -hmm. know what? It's not. See, that's that's one where like it scared me when I was younger, but I've seen it so many times. I can appreciate the other parts of it, like their use of lighting, you know, their low budget, how they made things work, how they created mm -hmm. the head. You know, like it's just it's I can pick that apart now. And I just I just I love it. Yeah. Actually, for my 39th birthday, we rented out the uh, Middletown Movie Theater and showed Pumpkinhead, and all my friends came, and it was so cool to like see it, you know, on that screen. Yeah. But Pumpkinhead's good. You could you could probably handle Pumpkinhead, Joel. Uh, Just know. think of the monster and how cool that is. There's and an how, actual guy in there controlling that giant yeah. thing, and it's uh, he's the demon of vengeance. So the enemy. Like a like a vigilante or something like a uh, sure <laughs> sure yeah I mean you can he deals out vengeance in a just way is that what you're getting at you get what's coming to you if you mess with pumpkin head okay <laughs> like I'm trying not to like 
<laughs> like spoiler alert yeah, from spoiler 1982. Alert. Yeah, yeah. You will not yeah. spoil it for me, I promise. It's There's cool. probably a zero percent chance that I'll watch it, but <laughs> oh, Mark, it's so good. It's so good. And it, and it it's so simple too. So if you haven't watched it, people watching, go absolutely go watch Pumpkinhead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So so Pumpkinhead was what got you hooked. What about you, Michelle? Did you have one that did you say? Oh man, I went off the I went right into the deep end, I think, because my <laughs> my parents let me watch whatever. <laughs> So the first, the first two that I definitely remember is <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street and um, Dawn of the Dead. Ooh, it's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, Nightmare on Elm Street. So Freddy. That's different than. Oh, that's what I yeah. meant. Not Friday the Thirteenth. Friday the Thirteenth. Who's that? That's Jason. Okay. Yeah. The hockey mask. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. 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 All right. I've not seen really many of the i don't know if i've seen any of those okay it was nightmare on elm street that yeah. was the one that i watched when i was younger it was it was i don't remember which one it was but um yes okay i was they're confused. all great <laughs> they're all great these nightmare but, on elm street you know we great. were i'm gonna tell them about uh we had the chance to meet robert england the guy that plays freddie oh okay and we both he walked right past us and i mean like right past us so he's a lot smaller than I thought he would be. Yeah, uh, I'm bigger than him, but uh, oh, really wow. there he is. And then we just froze up, and then there he went. <laughs> but like, <laughs> we did get to see that guy, and the girls got to see him. And because that's the other thing too, like I don't want the girls to be, you know, be scared of this kind of thing. Like I want them to see what I'm into and be okay with it and not terrified. So they've met all those celebrities, they've met all the monsters, they've seen this and that. So fingers crossed. Right. So, so meeting the real person that plays them helps disconnect from that. Oh, for uh, sure. Yeah, we met Leatherface too, and he's, I mean, he's a big dude. <laughs> yeah, he? yeah. Smells incredible, but like super <laughs> tall. He did. He smelled like we were like up to his armpit because he's so big. And, yeah. Uh, I mean, you're looking at the guy that you know, Leatherface and all that stuff, and uh, yeah, you just. Oh wait, Leatherface was the the chainsaw one, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He, he he did look like a big dude in the in the movies. Huge. Dude. Yeah. And super okay. cute too. He was unbelievably kind and just cool. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I wonder if it's um if the actors too like how they deal with with some of that, especially because that one was. I think I saw that one, and that was because of Jeff too. I'm blaming ninety percent of these movies on Jeff, but. <laughs> So that was the uh, Texas Chainsaw, right? That's, That's sure, what yeah. I said. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that movie was messed up. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I watched that one. Did that come out when we were in high school or shortly after? Yeah. The new one. There's an old version, but the There's new one. Show. But the one that came out when we were in high school is uh the one that we saw uh front row. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's I like the one that came out in two thousand three, the best. Yeah. That might be what I'm thinking of. I know I, I knew it was that. around high school time. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. Let me see where I'm at here. Let's see. Okay. Uh. All right. Yeah. Because we. Okay. So what's the uh? I wrote this one down. What's the worst one you've ever seen? Zombievers. Like, is that, like is you mean like bad quality, it, bad, bad storyline? Hold on, what? What was it? Bad quality, bad storyline. What? All of it. I hate that movie. Okay. Zombievers. I mean, it Go sounds ahead. like a dumb name, but it's so stupid. She it's incredible. It <laughs> yeah. If Brad saw on, he would agree. It, like yeah. it's incredible. Yeah. Uh, most people do. So the thing is, like, we both love horror movies, but me and Fallon, could, yeah, we, we could not be more different. Yeah, it's. <laughs> No. The styles, anyways. Very different, yeah. yeah. I have appreciation for much more of the movies than she does. From I the mean, technical side of things. Anything, anyway. Yeah. yeah. We don't watch the same movies <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> and we pick them all apart, or I do, you know. But I don't, I yeah, I don't I don't like Zombievers. I think it, I thought it was stupid. So I'll, I mean, that's what a movie about zombie beavers, Joel. Zombie beavers. <laughs> 
Yeah, it sounds stupid. Like I said, it's just the name sounds stupid. Like oh, Sharknado, right? That it's in that, that subgenre of horror comedy. That so, is true. There's that. Uh, yeah, okay. It's also one of those things like Sharknado. What movie, like if you know, if you're about to sit down mm -hmm. and watch a movie called Zombie Beavers, you know it's going to be dumb <laughs> and funny. And so you're just going to have a fun time watching it. But if you watch it expecting to get scared, then you're going to hate the movie. Like yeah. you just you kind of go in with the expectation. For me, I don't want to watch a horror comedy unless it's uh, <laughs> uh, Tucker and Dale. That's hilarious. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't. I don't want that. I want. I want to be scared. I want to be terrified. Like I want to turn it off and then come back to it later. Kind of. I love that. Um, no. Why do you think that is? Oh, I don't know. I, I think that's what I'm so curious about the most is why why do people enjoy being scared? Adrenaline. Adrenaline for sure. And I okay. think also like we were talking about this earlier. Usually, I mean, we've all watched horror movies alone, but like when you get a big group of people together who are into the same thing, you guys go to the movies together, you have like a movie night. There's just something about that horror, like the horrible experience. I cannot talk horrifying experience that you get to share with the people that you adore and you know each person has their different view on the on the movie they maybe saw something that you didn't see and i just i love being able to go into that part where it's just oh my gosh someone created this and this is terrifying you know that's hmm. awesome and then once it's over just forget about it <laughs> you know go to a, turn it off yeah a bit. are you are you able to are you really able to? Like, do you have nightmares? Uh, Joel, I dream every night. My brain just, I go everywhere. Yeah. Uh, I don't really have nightmares, though. No, you would think, you know, I mean, I've looked up and had to do some awful research on a lot of just, and I've talked to, I've talked to people who have killed people, you know, like, and I've had to turn that off before going to bed, but you yeah. just, you just kind of have to compartmentalize it and, Hey, yeah. Um, I forget what I was saying. So, you interrupted me. Um, <laughs> I will say, I mean, I probably do questionable things in real life, probably because of how many movies I have seen. Where, like, if I am walking out to my car at nighttime, like, I will walk with a purpose much quicker. And, yeah. I mean, there's things I do that probably other people don't do. And yeah. it's, I can chalk it up to I've probably seen too many movies, and it's made me a little. I know we're paranoid. Yeah, tell them about the uh, the old smoke detectors, Michelle. Let Joel know. It what doesn't it's matter. Like. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. <laughs> she, when she moved into her house, she ripped out every smoke. No, I did it. No, I did. Yes, she did everything. <laughs> what? And she no, saw I did it. Yes, you did. And not all of them. There was just, okay. Fine. Look. So now she's on brought it up. So I bought a house and. I felt that there were too many smoke detectors in it that were too close together. So that was too safe. She thought it was too safe. Don't no, to too him. weird. Like mm -hmm. that was weird to me is there shouldn't be smoke detectors three feet away from each other. That's too many. <laughs> so I ripped some of them out and I put my own in because I, I seen a movie where people were <laughs> hiding <laughs> cameras in that. Okay, that's what I was going. Yeah. I thought that's um, where you were going. I mean, and I, I mean, I was wrong. Couldn't find out I was wrong. There was no cameras in them, but. <laughs> I didn't know that until I actually took them down. Wow. So, so why, why do you, I'm just curious as to, um, how is that fun? <laughs> like, <laughs> well, like, how is it fun to live gonna, like that? I was like, what keeps you coming back that. after all that? I mean, I managed. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't. Oh, Joel. So here's the thing. I am always within reach of a knife. I, uh, there is always some kind of knife or weapon near me. I've, because of these movies and documentaries yeah. and podcasts and show, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm always ready. Well, so that, I think, <laughs> uh, you know what? This was on, I featured this on the episode with Candace. I do have a knife next to me. Hey! <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. It's uh it's not out of uh it's just it's coincidence. <laughs> it's just coincidence that it's sitting here with me on my desk. Perfect though. Um but so yeah, I guess that's 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 what I get that's what I really have trouble wrapping my head around is um is 
living life that way, knowing the source of why you live life that way, but then like you just can't, you still, you can't help yourself. Like you still love it so much that you keep going back to it. Right. Oh, it's, yeah. Yeah. it's like a weird dynamic there to me. It's, yeah. I mean, it's really <clears throat> kind of a way of life in some ways, you know, like there, when we go to like horror hound and do all these other um, shows and like conventions, or it's a, it's one big family of weirdos that the kindest people you'll ever meet, yeah. you know, um, they don't care if it's a newborn baby or a, you know, 90 year old, whatever, like everyone is there. It's just, it's a really loving community too, as odd as that might sound. Like some of the most yeah. terrifyingly looking people will also be the ones who will help you out, you know, who mm-hmm. will be there to support your kids who they don't even know. Right. Yeah. You know, they're just, it's a, it's a really good family of, weirdos i think yeah. right yeah okay so it does it does seem like um there's a strong like culture that's attached to it too oh for sure yeah absolutely yeah i, I mean i feel like everyone likes to be scared to an extent to an extent there are some people I that mean, take it too far and then you know it, and there are people that we would show gremlins to you know <laughs> there's a level <laughs> well, that's the thing is, um i never liked being scared yeah right like i i uh i never enjoy i never i don't know like I, i'm looking trying to think back to those mm-hmm. movies and, and i guess there were some times that i watched something um like on like my grandma had i think like hbo or showtime or something yeah and i remember watching leprechaun Ooh. and um it like in junior high or something like yeah. that or I don't remember how old I was. Um, and so I watched that by myself. So th- there's sometimes th- there's things that like that kind of suck me in, I guess. But but it wasn't that I particularly enjoyed it. I don't really know why I kept, wa- you know, that I stayed watching it or um, or that I'd watch. What is there four? I think. Oh, there's, there's a lot. A lot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, maybe I've only seen three or I don't remember. Yeah. But as they came out, like Leprechaun 1, Leprechaun 2, and then I'd be like, oh, right. there's a third one. I gotta watch Leprechaun 2, 3. Um, but yeah, I don't ever remember particularly liking them, though. <laughs> like, I think back and wonder, like, what was it that kept me going back? And maybe maybe it is that kind of excitement feeling that you talked about, Michelle. Like, there's that that physical thing that happens in our body, you know, like the adrenaline and Maybe there is dopamine. Maybe that's part of it, right? There's like a dopamine release or something going on that that your brain has attached to. Oh, I like that. And then afterwards, the after effects are like, oh, I don't like this. But uh, so maybe that's something. Maybe there's just like a chemical thing going on in your brain. That yeah, I mean, for me, because personally, I I am the easiest person to scare. I mean, I am. I don't oh. do some of our episodes of our podcast were found to ask me like, Hey, do you want to go check out this graveyard? No, I don't <laughs> like, I don't want to go to this haunted house. I don't want to do, I don't want to do any of that stuff because it's yeah. terrifying. Well, you'll and know, I'll, but I mean, I'll go it. and like, I'll it. dip out real fast. Like I'll hear a sound and I'm out. Like I'm done. So you yeah. don't go to be like haunted houses or anything like that during Halloween time. Oh no. I mean, I did, I did, you know, when I was younger and, and I don't even remember the last time I went to one, how old I was. It was definitely out of, we were definitely out of high school. Yeah. Um, maybe in our twenties, we might've went to one, but, but yeah, I never, um, I only went because other people were going. It was something to do as a group. Yeah. It was funny to watch other people. I don't remember if, uh, I don't know if he is going to watch this, but, um, but I'll call him out cause I don't care. <laughs> Alan Maines. That, I remember dude, Alan. <laughs> that dude would get so scared at haunted houses. He was the entertainment there. He would get so scared. One time, uh, we were in a, I think, yeah, we were out of high school because I think Candace and I were dating. So, um, and he was buried into the back of Candace. Like, <laughs> he was like, he was like, got his wrapped and he was just like, you know, following her around. He's, he's hilarious. He's, he was, uh, he was the entertainment. He was like, why we would go to a haunted house was just to watch him. That's your, but yeah, I don't, I don't like that stuff. That's my husband, Josh. Yeah. yeah. You go to the, you don't even need to go for the haunted house. You go to watch Josh and you go to watch Brad because Brad, who was just on here, you know, well, I guess, jo- have you seen those, um, what's it called? It's in a haunted house. Like like a tunnel, it's like I a guess. tunnel, but it spins. and you- Oh yeah. Those are, yeah. They're disorienting. 
Brad. Yeah, they are. Yeah. yeah. And if Brad doesn't know how to walk in. I cannot like, get through it. It is. We told him to walk backwards, close your eyes, walk on the side. Like <laughs> he can't do it. <laughs> he usually can't. have like rails on both sides, right? Like it doesn't matter. He will. He will take those rails and just like. <laughs> He goes with it. He goes with it. And it's like, Brad, just stop. Just walk. Just, just walk. don't move your body. So if it's $25 to get in, but Brad's there and they have one of those tunnel things, doesn't matter. You got to run through it really no. good. And then you stop and you turn around you and turn watch, watch Brad. Yeah. He's not going. Brad, <laughs> called you out. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. Candace, uh, let me go back up here. So the shows that freaked Candace yeah. out were America's Most Wanted and the yeah. uh, Creepy Skeleton Guy. Yes. Yeah. Oh man, because America's most wanted every Saturday night at nine. Because <laughs> I, I mean, that's real. Tales from the Crypt. Yeah. Uh, yeah. John Cassier yeah. did my voicemail for me one year. The actual guy that did the skeleton voice did your voicemail. Yeah, yeah. John Cassier for yeah. twenty five dollars. Twenty five bucks. Change your voice. <laughs> yeah. Nice, dude. Get that yeah. money. Yeah. I put that's it on. Funny. Facebook. I was like, hey, you can call my phone from now until whatever. Uh, just like I'm not going to answer, but just you know, listen to this. And it was full blown tales yeah. from the crypt. It was awesome. My phone kept breaking. Five bucks. That's yeah, awesome. that price has probably changed now, but <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, Candace said the haunted. It was the haunted house by the beach. Do you remember that one? I don't. No, I don't remember no. that one. Oh, you don't remember the one by the beach? No. It's like where kind of where that skyline is over there. Oh yes. It was like a small yes. one. Oh, you know what it was? It was an old putt putt course. Yes. That, that, one was real, that one was really good. Um, what? It, on Kingsmills Road. A haunted, like a fake oh, haunted house. Why not? Wow. I know a haunted house that Fallon's never been to. Dude, that All one was right. good. I feel important. It was really good. I am shocked by this information. <laughs> we, I, I would do it every year. Why am I drawing a blank on that? Yeah. I don't remember what it was called. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was there for. It was over a few years. Yeah, I remember going to the powder to factory. Frequently. The powder factory had their thing. Like I never went to that one. I don't think. I didn't make it. <laughs> I didn't make yeah. it in either. My mom and my brother went. I had a little accident and we had to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so did I. In mine, there was a chainsaw. The chainsaw guy. <laughs> yeah, the chainsaw yeah. guy. My mom was so mad because, like, we waited in a huge line to get in there and. I mean, they'll come right up to your feet. Yeah, obviously, yeah. they're from pain, but you know, True. when you're 13 or whatever, and yeah, we had to go. <laughs> yeah, Alan. Uh, Alan ran ran hurdles in high school. Yeah. And at the end of that uh, particular one, it ended. I think it was Michael Myers in a, in like the living room. Yeah. And and the lights would like had these strobe effects or whatever. You walked into the living room, and then all of a sudden, like he's there in the corner. And Alan literally uh, hurtled over the couch. Like there was a, a couch that was between you and the exit. Yeah. And he, I mean, he literally just cleared it. <laughs> boom, out the door. It was, I'm telling you, he was the best That's part great. of it. Look, I'm, yeah, I'm wearing my right now. Look, where's the camera at? Yeah, that guy. There you go. Yeah. <clears throat> um, uh, let's see, you brought up something. Oh, you talked a little bit about, about gore. So does gore, does gore gross you out? I don't know, uh, not really, but there, I don't like watching, even though I just said about that earlier, I don't like watching that. Uh, the only thing that, like, that grosses me out is fingernails, like breaking, you know what I mean? Mm. Oh, yeah. uh, teeth getting yanked out or whatever. Mm. Other than that, I can, I can handle anything else. I'll watch everything. <laughs> she will. I love it. <laughs> but I like, yeah. I am fascinated with how they make I like the special effects. Special effects part of it. Yeah, okay. and I mean they do come up with some really cool rigs and ideas, and yeah, it's more like practical effects because now with technology, now everyone wants to jump to like CGI, and that can be terrible. It's terrible. So, mm. Yeah, you so you're to like a traditionalist. Like the practical effects, they're great. Oh yeah, so much better. Mm. I gotcha. Yeah, I never the gore part. I was I never I'd all I was always the one that would like, you know, <laughs> yeah, look away during that stuff. Um, I did um, I did like the Saul uh, when I was younger. I liked the Saul storyline as the, as they kept as, as they kept like releasing more and more. Like, I got uninter uninterested after like 
I don't know, the fifth one or something. Maybe yeah. not, maybe before that. Um, like the first, second, and third ones, the, the storyline, because like you said, all the twists and turns, and that's what I liked about it. The gore stuff, I I didn't, <laughs> that wasn't what I liked about it. Or even being scared, it wasn't even, I don't oh, even remember. Scared, like, yeah. I just liked the, the thriller part of it. Um, I like I all the even, little games and how they were created and, you know. Yeah, the creativity yeah. of the games, yeah, for sure. Right, the trash, um, yeah. But you, you brought up something which I think is is probably one of the main reasons that I don't like them is because as I got older and I started to, I think maybe some of it had to do with working at the court too. Because mm -hmm. uh, I used to be, when I was a criminal justice student, I was really into true crime stuff too. Like I, I Forensic Files, do you remember that show like on oh, A&E oh, or yeah. was it TLC? I don't remember, one of those. Um, I I watch that show all the time. I, I, didn't you and I have a conversation? It was like maybe a couple of years ago about the um, Amanda Knox case. That was you, right? Yeah, I reached out to you about something, but I don't remember what it was in in regards to. I don't. I'll have to go back and check, but yeah. Yeah, I do remember messaging you about something and and like, hey, what were your thoughts on this? Yeah, I, I think I went way too far with with the thoughts. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The shocker. Uh, <laughs> Well, blah, 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 yeah, because <laughs> yeah, I don't even remember why, how I got on to that particular whatever story it was. But anyways, I used to be into that stuff. And I think the more that I experienced um, real crimes right. and and real things happening and stories of people really being tortured and... um you know, real sexual violence. That's what that kind of really started to turn me off of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Because I didn't want to, I just, I wasn't interested in of the pretend part of it, I guess is how I can explain it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, and then also working at the court, I mean, I worked with the offenders of, some pretty heinous stuff. I mean, they were juveniles, but, um, but some of their stuff was, was pretty bad. Yeah. And so that was another reason why I was like, eh, I just not like I'm working in the real stuff. I don't, I don't want to be entertained by, <laughs> by the fake right. stuff because then it was like, then I'm never disconnecting from it. Right. Like then right. it's, it's a part of my entertainment and it's a part of my everyday life. Right. That's like that, that wasn't fun to me we've had to take breaks before because of that. Yeah. yeah. I've had some really scary encounters with some pretty awful people. And, uh, sometimes you just gotta, I don't know, take a step back, but I never really wanted to do it for like entertainment purposes. I, well, I mean, obviously people enjoy listening to that kind of thing, but, um, yeah. it, people need to know <laughs> there are crazy people out there, you yeah. know, who do yeah. crazy things. And like, we've talked to some of those people and, Man, it's I don't know. It's, Who's the craziest uh, that you've ever communicated with? I don't know if I can name um yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to look up Lonnie Franklin? Uh there's a documentary about him on Prime called The Grim Sleeper. Uh-huh. He's pretty bad. One of the worst. Yeah. Uh, I think they're all bad. They're he, all terrible. Can you, well, can you I talked to him like how did you talk to him? Uh Oh well, yeah, Grim Sleeper. Uh, yeah, letters. Uh, Alan does this fun thing where she just writes to the prisons everywhere and just is like, hey, hey yeah, write me back. And yeah, that's that's Lonnie for sure. Uh, let's see, how can I zoom in on this? Make it a little bit bigger. All right, I think it's okay. Um, I will say one of the guys I've, I don't even Tender. want to say the closest to, but uh, one of the worst men I've ever met in my life or talked to. Um, his initials are JBC. I'll just say that. Uh, yeah, if anyone wants a deeper dive on that, it's not really something that I would suggest discussing right now in detail, but he's a bad, bad dude. Yeah. Bad, bad dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'd be too interested in that, probably. Nope. <laughs> um, I I there are some wicked people in... For sure. I, there's just like you and I, you know, talking just like you and I with, with different words coming out of our mouth. It's just wild that people can do yeah. it. 
Well, and I kind of, like I said, I, I kind of working at the juvenile court, I kind of discovered that too, because um, the juvenile offenders that I worked with, most of them were great to work with. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, they would be just like you and me in an English class in eighth grade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, but yeah, I, I stopped, um, especially with the sex offenders, they, uh, part of their treatment is they would have to do a polygraph to, um, and it was only for treatment purposes. It couldn't be used against them in court or anything right. like that. Um, and so, the, but it was, it was basically to bring out everything that's ever gone on in their life so that it can all be addressed so that there's really trying to keep any secrets from, from being able to happen wow. during treatment. And so, I mean, you think of someone that, uh, some of them were like, there was some really graphic stuff in there. And in the, the beginning years, when I first started working there, I, I always thought that it was important for me to understand who I was working with. Cause like I said, we would go to rec and play basketball and like nothing was yeah. talk and you know, whatever. Yeah. And, um, and it actually started to one of the, one of the senior pot officers, he gave me an article one time that was called downing a duck and anybody that works in corrections would know what that mean would would know what that means but it's um it's basically how you how inmates identify a correction officer that they can get control of and manipulate and so they call him they call him a duck yeah. and so what they do is and it, it outlined this particular inmate that was really good nice. at um he, uh, of, of getting ducks and uh i think he might have been serving a life per you know, life sentence or whatever. But so he would, he would start with little things, become friends with the, with the correction officer. And then he would get them to do like one little thing that was against the rules. And mm -hmm. then he would keep upping it up a little bit, a little bit. And then once there was a little bit of resistance from, from the officer, he would turn on them and he would oh, say, wow. no, you're going to do this because you've done this, this, and this, and I've got all this dirt on you now. And so then, and then he would have them and basically yeah. whatever, and that's how he would get drugs in and how, like he would use them. And mm -hmm. then when they got caught and they got in trouble or fired or whatever, he would move on to a new duck. Wow. Yeah. And, and so see, this whole article right there is the kind of thing that just fascinates me. Like what is going through someone's head to make them, cause that's clearly planned. Like, Oh yeah. Just the steps and the whole process of everything. Like why do people do the things that they do? You know, yeah. and that's why I just, it's a question with a never ending Right. Uh, I, I guess well, but. It's, it's definitely there's like zero empathy you know obviously it's it's all it's all extreme selfishness you oh, know, for sure. probably yeah. narcissistic in a way too for oh sure. absolutely um, absolutely for sure yeah <laughs> but he so he's testifying about at, at an officer's thing or whatever and he's laying out his process of of getting a duck and how he does it mm -hmm. it's all in this article and at the very end of the article they say well do you have a duck now that was the last question they asked him. He doesn't answer it. He just reaches into his pocket. He pulls out a stick of gum and sticks it in his mouth. There, obviously, he's an inmate. He's not allowed to have gum. He's not allowed to have gum. Yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, and they just said no. You know, no further questions. You know, they, yeah. <laughs> no, that was the end of his testimony. But um, so, anyways, the pot officer gives me this article about this, basically to say, hey, you know, it was he, he was mentoring me and saying, hey, you know, you've got to. You got to be aware of this. So I started reading and looking through their entire files. Every offender that came in, I'd look through their entire file and it would have all their, their stuff on their polygraph. And man, it was like, and finally, after a couple of years, I was like, you know what? I've got enough understanding of where I'm at. I had to stop reading them. I was like, I ain't reading these anymore because this is, this is, you know, too much. It's like, I mean, it's real life nightmares, you know, but yeah. that's, that's Yeah. And that's why I watch on Beavers. <laughs> yeah, keep it light. Yeah. I mean, she. I. I'm more of the true crime. Like I will. I. I. I love a good documentary. I love a good season. I could just like binge it. She's more on the line of fake, fake stuff. Yeah. I like to learn about the real stuff, but I also love to watch an over the top, ridiculous horror movie. Yeah. 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 Um, and then you said. Uh... You said that your kids are involved in it. What about them? Do they have nightmares? My girls? No. No, not really? at all. Uh, they think everything we watch is weak. Yeah. <laughs> they do. <laughs> I mean, they don't know what a good movie is yet, but 
Uh, yeah, I mean, they'll, you know, they've been, oh my gosh. So uh, they went to their first horror home when they were six months old. We like decorated their stroller and stuff. And, you know, they became actual celebrities. Like, you know, people were like, oh my gosh, twins. And they're, in, you know, we, every year we dress them up like they were zombies one year. They got to meet Elvira one year and dressed up like her. I mean, it was just every year there's something else. And, People have got to meet them through the years and expect them to be at the next convention. And they, you know, they support their artwork. And, you know, the girls are very much into this whole lifestyle for sure. Wow. Yeah. They love it. They love going to Horror Hound. They love to cosplay. They love meeting celebrities. They love meeting all the crazy cosplayers. Like it's, it's like Christmas to us. Yeah. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so there's like an enjoyment of, of, not necessarily the movies, but the, but like I said, there's a culture to it and the family. Yeah. There's an enjoyment of the whole culture part of it. Absolutely. Yeah. And people from all over will get, you know, get together and they might look scary, you know, they might look terrifying, but they're some of the most down to earth, kind hearted, loving, caring, supportive people you'll ever meet. Yeah. You know, we just like weird stuff, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> um let's see do i have anything else um i think that covers like pretty much most of the questions that i had um i mean I, so yeah the, the, those are those reasons that that i don't enjoy that stuff any really then but even and and that's the reason i say that is because obviously i point that out because that was even before you know because Michelle, I don't know if you know this about me. Did I don't know how much Fallon told you about me, but I'm a pastor at a church. So oh, yes, <laughs> did I tell you that? Okay. Watch so um, yep. yeah, yeah, <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, um, we've done pretty good. I haven't said one bad word. I haven't either. I know you guys have done awesome. You guys have done awesome. Uh, and like I said, not that I would condemn you for saying a bad word, but I appreciate the uh, yeah, the effort that you put in. The one star review we got from our podcast was that we do not speak like women. So. We had to do a follow up episode on how we don't care what that guy says. Okay. Well, it's interesting. I don't. I mean, so you speak like sailors? I, I don't know. Like what? Uh, like how do, you, yeah, how do yeah. you put a label on how someone speaks? Anyways, um, worst things you can imagine to come out of a woman's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but so there, there is a spiritual side to for me to yeah. why I, I don't enjoy those things, and and there's um there's a Fear, fear and faith are are really uh, the exact opposite of each other, mm -hmm. and and you know my my belief in the uh, the Bible being you know God's word and all that stuff. It's it's very there's a lot in there that talks about fear not. So I don't want to put anything in, into my life that brings on fear. Right. So that's that's my personal thought about it. But that's why I wanted to talk to you guys for one just to, to try to get an understanding of what it's what it's all about um so i, I hope that uh i hope that 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 came off well with you guys and and that i just was curious about it and oh, yeah that's uh, yeah, what i was yeah. telling her i explained who we were to you know each yeah. other and, uh marginally different but still this you know buddies yeah, yeah. but uh yeah it, it's I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> well, let me go to the spiritual part of it real quick, though. I, I started to close up, but then I started. I I was thinking of this is, is um. From a from a spiritual standpoint, not not like, not what your guys' beliefs are, in religion or or, or anything like that. But like, do you have any spiritual beliefs in in terms of? Because you talked about paranormal stuff yeah. and like going to haunted mm -hmm. houses and. Yeah. And, and so is there a spirit realm that you that you explore or that you're curious about? For, go ahead. I, I, don't, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. I'll answer that for you. She won't mess with anything spiritual. Okay. She, she doesn't mess with it. I will. I'll do it all day, all night long. doesn't bother me. I'm actually more curious about it, kind of how you are with this whole like topic. Yeah, I, I think you and I have talked about spiritual stuff before. I am really curious, mm -hmm. but also very defiant, <laughs> and in some ways with it, you know, I'm yeah. bad experiences. But like, um, yeah, there are some things that I 
how am I going to try to explain that? Yeah, there, there, there is, there's definitely a spiritual aspect to it. Um, for example, like, do I believe in ghosts? I would, I hope they're around. I hope that's a real thing. You know, I would love to be able to communicate with my relatives who have passed away mm -hmm. and, you know, see all these really cool things. But, you know, we did ghost hunts for years and, you know, yeah, we had some weird things happen. Got some yeah. really weird things that happen that we can't even explain. And I'm a skeptic. So, yeah, it's like that's that little question mark, you know, like, I, I don't know, but I'm definitely going to respect it if it's out there. You know, I don't yeah. make anything <laughs> mad. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, she she won't mess with anything like a Ouija board or anything like that. Mm. I haven't in a long time, but yeah. I would. But under a very thick, you know, protective. See, that's kind of was like where I don't know what I believe in, but just in right. case, I'm going to make sure that I'm protected. You're protected. We're all protected. This is for good stuff. <laughs> you know, no bad stuff here, right? I gotcha. I don't mess with anything. <laughs> she does it. I gotcha. I, because I've seen movies where it goes wrong. Then you never know. Well, so that's, go ahead. Finish. Yeah, I apologize. Well, no, that's it. I just don't need to chance it. I mean. <laughs> oh, I got you. Yeah. Well, so that's what I was kind of getting at, too, was was from the horror film standpoint. Because you you talked about, you had said that that was like a, a, a specific genre. Like there's a paranormal, you know, uh, or, or you said something about, um, what was the woods one you said? Did you say Haunted Woods? or Yeah, just you like anything like spooky, you know, going yeah. out in the woods looking for haunted things but yeah it's like if you take an umbrella of horror there's a bunch of different things that fall yeah. underneath that paranormal yeah, tons. And tons of it yeah yeah so that's that's another reason why i personally don't enjoy that is because um because i do believe in a very real spiritual warfare oh absolutely that, yeah, you know yeah. that there is an evil that there are evil spirits and uh so yes yeah, so i don't <laughs> and because that's so real to me Mm -hmm. that's why i'm not entertained by it like at all right now, the alien stuff I, I don't really believe in aliens so that's 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 one that uh i don't know maybe i could, like independence day i don't know i kind of like that movie i guess oh, I love that movie. Movie. yeah i mean yeah. that's the good thing about horror is like there's things that you were saying that i i spiritually i can't get on i can't i can't watch or even with you working in the justice mm -hmm. system like anything that's like true crime. Yeah. You can steer clear from those and still watch horror movies because there's so many. It's when you say horror, oh, movie, saying, it's yeah. a giant blanket. I get that. There's so many different levels that you could pick and you could just not ever watch any of those movies and still be a fan of horror just with these sub genres. Yeah. I gotcha. I guess I could see that because um, I think somebody, yeah. You know, I was looking up here. Brooke said something about Devil's Rejects. Hmm. That was the Rob Zombie film, right? Yep. And yeah. his wife was in that one, I think, right? I'm remembering this right. Oh. Yeah, that one that one I found particularly disturbing because of the um like sexual violence part of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because yeah. he, he had the one I, the one girl was like chained up or something. The the dad sheriff guy, right? Didn't he have like some girl chained up or something? I think. <sighs> I was gonna right. say, all the one before that did you see house of a thousand corpses oh maybe that's the one i'm thinking of because they're I all guess. connected right isn't there some weird yeah, connection with all of them know, but i feel like the first one or am uh, i thinking of, yeah i can't remember because that was a long time ago when i saw those yeah where you went well it's probably house of a thousand corpses because if you saw that one you wouldn't have went to see devil's rejects maybe I, I think I can remember both of them though, or at yeah. least parts of them. I might have seen at least parts of them. Yeah. But yeah, that's but that's kind of that true crime aspect of it where I'm like, mm, no, I'm not, I'm not down with that at all. Yeah. No. Um. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thanks for having I, us. I, yeah. I, I hope you guys had fun and it was worth uh worth giving your time up for <laughs> to hang oh, out with me for a little bit. Yeah. I, I get to talk to my old buddy. We get to talk about scary stuff. This is perfect. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. You Did you? What? We'll have to have you on our show at, at some point. Okay. Flip the table. Well, <laughs> yeah. I've got a. Um, I do have a little bit of a secret for you about. You tell anybody. The <laughs> true crime connection. I guess it's not really a secret, but. Yeah. Um, you might think this is cool. Maybe this will help raise my cool factor for you. I don't know. I think you're cool. 
<laughs> so the um the uh pike county murders yeah i was just there last weekend oh really are yeah. you like following that case and stuff I, yeah kind of yeah kind of okay i need to do probably like a once over and just like, catch back up what do you got yeah yeah you know um, <laughs> so well the uh unfortunately uh oh. the the family um i'm related to them oh my god of the wow. of the perpetrators really yeah i did not know that oh, yeah. 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 you are watching why did you come in here i sent you a link you turd <laughs> <laughs> you turd i didn't know that yeah so um oh. Yeah, they are. I don't know how to officially. I don't know. I don't know what. The, how do you officially say it? Right. Sometimes it's like once removed, cousins okay. once removed, or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we we are. Uh, they're related to me, and um, I spent. You know, I would go and with my grandpa to the to the ranch that you know that was in the news that got raided and all this stuff. Um, so yeah, so it was. Yeah. How did oh, that excuses, happen? bro. Excuses. <laughs> Feeding the kids and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, anyways, yeah, it's not like, I mean, I guess I said it on here, but yeah, it's not something that I've I've been like, oh, that's my family. Like, you know, I'm not trying to get clout from it, I guess. But, um, but yeah. So I I I I uh, I know them. I've spent time with them before. So. I would love to pick your brain on that. Joel. She's going yeah. to text you every day now. Well, no, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm not going to bother him, but I have a connection as well. Uh, not to them, but um, there was a serial killer that killed a member of my family before I was even born. So like mom oh, yeah. like, told me about it. Yeah. It ended up being a relative of a friend of the best friend of mine from school. We were, it was a strange connection, but yeah, I'll have to fill you in on that some other wow. time. Wow. Yeah. It's yeah. wild. It's wild. Yeah. We're yeah, connected. Well, we're, it's weird how we have connections sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, this is totally random, but um, a couple weeks ago, I was, I, we were in Hillsboro and I stopped at the world's largest horseshoe crab statue. You oh, got yeah. That's like over, where is that? Blanchester or something or Hillsboro or? Hillsboro. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. Hillsboro? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We pulled in because, I mean, why not? And <laughs> it turns out, you remember Rachel Neal? Yeah. Her uncle once removed whatever owns that oh really <laughs> right and he, uh he, he's like where are you from and i'm like you know london he's like oh i have family there i'm like well so do i who do you know and he's like you know all these names and well, you gotta be kidding me like you probably watched me grow up this is this is crazy but yeah we're all somehow connected it's strange wow that's cool <laughs> i <d> <laughs> What's you don't have, do you have any cool connections, Michelle? Or you, you're feeling not. left out? <laughs> no, I, mean, I don't have anything really that I know of. Do you have some? I mean, we've had some pretty awesome connections at Horror Hound. You just mean like in general? Yeah, I don't have like any family connections or I don't know. I, no, yeah. I was just in the ER and I got a text that she was in the room next to me. Yeah, <laughs> with the kidney stones. Yeah, and she we pulled in because I had a, you, you saw I passed the three of them and she yeah. be in, in room five and I'm in 10. And we didn't even know we were going to be there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. You guys yeah. really are best friends. You even go to the ER at the same time. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Joel, for having us on here. Yeah, I know. This was fun. I'm, I'm uh, I thank you for helping me um, like rip the bandaid off of, of having people that like, I'm not super, uh, that I don't talk to like every day. Yeah. Right. Like, like Jeff, he's easy. Yeah. I yeah. Can, you know, talk to him all the time about anything. That's what we did our whole lives together. Yeah. Uh, Michelle, if you don't know, Jeff is, is my, my first cousin. We're 40 days apart in age. Okay. We've grown up together and he's been on the show three times now. I think we've yeah, done three episodes with him. I've done one episode with uh, my friend Chad. Do you remember Chad Hayfler from school? He was a couple grades below us. I don't know if you'd remember I don't him. Think so no. Um, but he graduated from Lebanon too. Uh, I did an episode with him. That was really fun. He's got a cool story. Uh, you guys might be interested in that one. Um, yeah. I don't know if you watched any of the episodes at all, but uh, you might be interested in that one particularly because he um, had he 
he was kind of a uh, on a like basically a Buddhist. Like he he kind of was was on this this journey with Buddhism, and um and he is now a Christian. So he went from Buddhism to to becoming a Christian, and um and so yeah, he's it's kind of a cool. We we didn't outline it specifically, you know, but but he talked a little bit about his story and stuff. So I don't know, yeah, you guys okay. might think it's cool. Just, yeah, we'll have to go check it out. Um, I don't know. I think this is directed at you, Michelle. Jeff's calling you. Is he calling you a muggle? I don't know. What is that? I don't know. I think it's a Harry it Potter. Sound thing. good. Is that a Harry Potter reference? Oh, I've never just seen Harry. We Potter. don't know what the, we haven't either. Yeah, I don't know. We don't know about Harry Potter. Harry Potter's not in the horror genre, apparently. No, it's not. No, it, although it's in the witchy genre, but yeah, that's what's, a I'm not a what's a muggle? Joel, what's a muggle? Uh, I think I'm. So, if I'm remembering right, uh, a muggle is someone that doesn't know about wizards and witches. Oh yeah. Well, you know some. <clears throat> a person who is like they're normal people. So, like they'd be normal, like. Because because they only if I because I've I've seen I haven't seen all of the Harry Potters all the way through but from what I remember is there was only certain times that Harry Potter would go to the school for wizardry or whatever and then otherwise he would be with like his normal family and his normal family didn't know about what he was what he was or didn't know anything about it so they were they called they referred to them as Muggles oh like they were like oh, yeah. they didn't know about magic they didn't know that all that stuff existed. So they were muggles. So, uh, oh, okay, non magic. <laughs> non magic, Chris. No. Non magic. <laughs> yeah. So Chris's girlfriend Ashley, she's a huge Harry Potter fan. Yeah. Shout out to Ashley and the Slytherin. She's gonna kill us for not knowing our. <laughs> <laughs> you get called out for that. He's like, I don't solely watch horror movies. She doesn't have any connections. Yeah, he's saying you're a muggle because you don't have any connections. So. I don't. I don't think so. Maybe I do. I don't know. I meant to bring this one up earlier. Do you guys know uh... Brad? <laughs> Brad. <laughs> Brad said as soon as we started talking about haunted houses, he knew he was getting called out. Yeah. So you know what, Joel? Honestly, when Halloween comes up, I will find you have to come and just watch Brad. I will hold your eyes through the whole thing. <laughs> I will turn your face around. You have got to watch Brad completely fail. At this entire process, it yeah. is worth every bit of that money. And, and he I, keeps going I, with you, like he keeps I, going. Oh yeah, yeah. Brad's a trooper. Brad's right there with all. Yeah, yeah. yeah first one there. Yeah. Our number one quarter. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Like, would you not even go if Brad wasn't going? Like, you're like, ah, it's not even worth it. If Brad's we not going. We try to make sure if we go, it's the the top three me her and brad and then uh, yeah and her husband that's it's josh that's uh yeah, yeah josh is it's so they eight. cower they cower behind you <laughs> well, he's a screamer he is a, <laughs> he's a screamer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah well well if it's just the four of you fallon you're in a lot of trouble because you said michelle's not She's just as bad, well, right? I go first. I think that they I'm like, going first. I have to go first, what? which is right, which is awesome though, because I don't want to go first. I go second, and I put my finger behind her belt loop, and I do this <laughs> as we walk, and then Brad's usually behind. Brad has to bring up the rear. Yeah, Brad's in the very back, and then Josh is behind me. But yeah, it's like there. That's the other thing too. That, that's it's like planned out. You know, like all you people get together, we have to plan it out. Blah blah blah. Well, I mean, they haunted houses are really expensive now. They are so. If I'm going to pay fifty dollars, I want to be scared. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, we also pay the extra to like blind jump because yeah. we don't want to wait. Oh, they have like they have that option. Yeah, yeah you're going to pay for it though. But if you think they're waiting in line for well, four hours or you know, because there's just thousands of people that go. Yeah. I mean, oh, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> so it's like Disney's uh like lightning lanes. They have like haunted house lightning lanes that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know what? I think I just remember the last one I think I remember going to was uh what's that big giant place out in Germantown? I don't know about no, Germantown. Yeah, Germantown. Yeah. What is it? Land yeah. of Virginia, yeah. that one. I think that's the last time I went to one, and that was a long time ago. They started out uh just as the Middletown Trail, like right when you get into Middletown, like when we were younger, like mm -hmm. by third grade. 
Yeah. And they went from a trail to making millions. Millions. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's beautiful. Over They're there. actually called a theme park now. The Scream Park. Or, yeah. Yeah. Scream Park. Interesting. Yeah. yeah I think, uh, I think we were. What's that? There's a whole other world out here just waiting on you. Uh, no, I've I've <laughs> seen that world, and I don't want it any part of it anymore. <laughs> um, all right. Well, listen. Like I said, this was uh this was fun. I really appreciate yeah, you guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, I don't know if anybody noticed. I've got this. I created this overlay down here, and these are future sponsor logos. Ooh, these little spots yeah, down yeah. here. Yeah. That could be a sponsor logo. <laughs> I told Candace, I was like, hey, I've got this really dumb idea. What if I just start like I just make an overlay and in, in in kind of uh you know I'm I'm speaking my my sponsors into the future, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if it's if anybody's uh watching and they want to be a, a sponsor of the show, we, I got a spot here for your logo. So yeah, we I can, love uh, it. Yeah, this is this is perfect. Everything's yeah, right. so good. Yeah, thank you again, Joel. This was a yeah, lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. We'll have to have you on ours. Yeah, for sure. I'll uh, I'd like to do that, and um, and maybe I don't know. There, you guys can come back on too if you want to. There's something yeah. else we can find to talk about sometime. We can uh, absolutely. This I, is awesome. I'll have you back on. So, yeah. well, bye, Jeff. Right. Thanks for stopping by, Jeff. Yeah, no, thanks for nothing, for Jeff. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I appreciate guys. you guys. Have a good night. Bye. Oh, where's my hand? There we go. Oh. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Where do I... I got you. I'll take you out. All right, y'all. Hey, that was uh that was a lot of fun. Um, and uh, anyways, y'all have a good night, and I'll catch you next time. See ya. <laughs>